Hello, I am Luis Nuño. I am a professor in the area of signal theory and communications at the Polytechnic University of Valencia in Spain. In this presentation, we will analyze the timbres of human voices and wind and electronic instruments. The timbre is the characteristic sound of a musical instrument. It depends on many factors. From the classification of instruments, we will focus on human voices, wind instruments and electrophones. To analyze the timbres, we will consider the envelope, the waveform and the spectrum, that is the harmonic series. The timbre of a musical instrument depends on the one hand, on the performer, the instrument itself and the acoustic room. And on the other hand, in case of a lead performance, on the location of the listener and the listener himself or herself. And in case of a recorded performance, on the location and number of microphones, the type of microphones and the post-processing. The result can be mono or stereo. From the classification of instruments, in another presentation we studied the chordophones or string instruments, membranophones, which are percussion, and idiophones, which are also percussion. And in this presentation we are going to analyze the human voices, the aerophones, that is wind instruments, and the electrophones. Here we will consider only pure electronic instruments and not electromechanical ones they will be classified in the other groups. Except for the electrophones, all the sounds are generated by Finale software. And for the electrophones, the sounds were obtained with MATLAB, so they are synthesized with our own programs. To analyze the timbre, we will consider a whole note or a tempo of quarter note equal to 90, then the whole note will have a length of 2.667 seconds. Then we will represent five periods of the waveform and the first harmonics, typically 20 and sometimes more. As a reference, the middle C on a piano is C4, which frequency is 260 Hz and the period 3.8 milliseconds. Now, let's analyze the human voices. This is a soprano, note C6, which is very high. This is the envelope, the waveform and the spectrum. Then the alto voice, C5. This is the envelope, the waveform and the spectrum. Tenor voice, C4. Envelope, waveform and spectrum. Bass voice, this is a C2, a very low note. This is the envelope. Now the spectrum is very complex. It contains many harmonics. Now let's analyze the aerophones. In this case, the sound is produced by the vibration of air. They can be keyboard as the organ or the accordion, woodwind or brass instrument. In the woodwind instruments, the sound is produced by blowing on a sharp edge, which may be a reed, either simple or double. And in the case of brass instrument, the sound is produced by blowing and vibrating the lips. This is a uh, organ, C4. This is the spectrum with many harmonics. An accordion, C5. The envelope, the waveform, and the spectrum. Now a tenor recorder, C4. This a woodwind instrument. Now the amplitude is practically very uniform. This is the waveform and the spectrum. The piccolo C6 with a vibrato. This is the waveform and the spectrum. Flute C5 
This is the, um, the envelope, the waveform and the spectrum, oboe, C4, which has a double read. This is the waveform and the spectrum. The bassoon, also with a double read. The envelope, <coughs> the waveform and the spectrum. The clarinet, C4. In this case, the spectrum only contains odd harmonics, not the even ones, as well as in the bass clarinet. This is C3. Only odd harmonics. Now the alto sax, C4. This is the envelope, the waveform, and the spectrum. It contains many harmonics. The tenor sax, C3. The envelope, and then many harmonics in the spectrum. Now the brass instruments, the horn, C3. This is the envelope. The waveform and the spectrum, flugelhorn C4, envelope, waveform and the spectrum, euphonium C3, envelope, waveform and spectrum, tuba C2. Again, the envelope. Waveform and spectrum now with many harmonics. Trumpet C4. This is the envelope, the waveform and the spectrum with many harmonics too. Trombone C3. Envelope, waveform and spectrum. It has many harmonics as well. Now let's analyze the electrophones. Here we include only pure electronic instruments and not electromechanical, that is synthesizers. We will analyze first the simple waveforms, sine, triangle, square and sawtooth, and I included um, a new one developed by me which I call armchair because of its waveform. This is the sine C4. This is a pure harmonic triangle. Square, C4. The triangle and the square only have odd harmonics. This is the sawtooth, C4. And this is the armchair because of its waveform. As conclusions, the temba is the characteristic sound of a musical instrument and depends on many factors. In this presentation, we analyzed the human voices, for example, aerophones, that is wind instruments, 17 examples, and electrophones, 5 examples. To analyze the timbers, we consider the envelope, the waveform, and the spectrum, that is the harmonics. These graphs show the main characteristics of the different timbres. You can find all the information on the webpage harmonicwheel.com. Thank you very much for your attention.